let's talk about how to make money on the internet. How to get that Wi-Fi bread. There are many options. Let's start off as a person who has never made money before. You can do what's called resale, where you go out and you buy products at a discount and resell them on the internet. I ran a whole business off of this principle. The whole thing about that is scale. You want to buy so much that you can make really good money. Another way to make money on the internet is to be a content creator. You have a podcast, you have a YouTube channel, you have a Facebook group, you, you have one of these bigger things that draws people in. One of the issues with people wanting to make money on the internet is they're looking for guarantees in a template. Like if I do this, if I put this much effort into X, Y, and Z, will it pay off? This is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. I'm here to tell you it doesn't work like that. When I started this YouTube channel in 2009, I worked on it full time for six months before I made a dime. One of the things about internet money is... If you're doing something where you must build a following, it's going to take time for you to make money. This is just one of the things. But if you're doing resale or you're creating something, let's say, you know, this is how I make money online. I create online courses and I sell them and I use my YouTube channel as an inbound marketing tool. See, I don't make phone calls. I don't call anyone. People find the YouTube channels. They watch a bunch of videos and then they buy something. That's my business model, which is rather difficult to recreate because typically you've got to have a lot of content to make that work. What many people are doing are buying ads and sending people to certain pieces of content and that content then sends the people to their online courses. Online courses are a great business model. It's going to be here for a long time because everything is moving to the Internet. Everything. Now, if you want to make money online, first of all, you've got to understand that unless you have money to buy ads, you got to do content marketing. And when I say money to buy ads, I mean, you can literally start off with 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, 500 bucks. But one of the things with buying ads is, first, you've got to appease the platform that you run their ads on. You have to write your ads in a way that gets past their filters because they've changed. This is the case with Facebook. This is the case with Google AdWords. So that could create an issue right there because going to get your ad approved by these entities, the ad may not do that well because you have to pull out some of your passes because there are so many little things. You can't suggest that a person is going to get abnormal results. Uh, when I tried to run my 30 days to $25,000 ad on Facebook, at first it got disapproved and then once the people saw it, they didn't believe it. They really didn't believe it. I mean, you know, 2500 bucks to me is not a lot of money, but to the average person, that's what they make all month, working 160 hours. So it was really hard for them to swallow this. Which brings you back to the point of testing ads. You know, you've got to please Facebook, and you've got to make an ad that resonates with the targeted audience. So... Let's talk about other ways to make money from the internet. If you can develop a large following, you can monetize that following through ads or sponsorships. This is one of the ways that most people on YouTube make money through AdSense, sponsorship, or sponsored post. And that's pretty cool too if you have the traffic. 
if you could develop the big enough following. Now, another way that you can make money online is to start a website that serves a certain niche. And one of the things, you know, and hear me, hear me well. This stuff isn't fast. When someone's like, hey, man, I want to get on the Internet. I want to make money fast. Remove the word fast. Remove the word super fast. You know, quick. And fa get that out your head. You're looking at on the Internet business at a year to four years before this Internet business really starts to pay you enough money to pay your bills. And that's what we're talking about because, you know, you can make some money doing affiliate marketing. You can make some money doing a little reselling. You can make some money starting a YouTube channel. But that isn't what gets us excited. Being able to pay the mortgage, pay student loans off, to buy cars cash, that's what gets us excited. And all of that is very possible due to the Internet. It is more than possible. It is very doable. And one of the things you have to understand is, are you playing the short game, which is tactically driven? If you get on this trend, like Amazon buy merch, Amazon FBA, a lot of people who are honest, they've like looked at this as like, this is way more than what I thought it was going to be. Back in the early days of the Internet, it was so easy to make money. And I know many of you guys are wishing that we would go back to that, but we, we, we can't go back. We're not going to go back. We can only go forward. And as more people realize the opportunities of making money online, the tougher it's going to get. Because you think it's hard now? Wait five years from now. Wait 10 years from now. So this is one of the reasons that you need to get busy establishing your online business today. Get your website, get your domains, get your business model, and get started today. Because I can tell you this YouTube thing used to be easy compared to it is the way it is today. Uh, you know, making money on Facebook used to be so easy. It used to be ridiculously easy. But... Facebook has grown. Competition has grown. So first of all, let's talk about the organic part of making money online. One of the things you have to do is find a pain point. You must be about solving problems with your internet business. I saw the problem of, you know, how to set up your LLCs, how to make money online, how to make money on Craigslist, how to be a better man. I, you know, there's a lot of problems that I am solving, which is why I make money. If you're not solving acute pain points, you're not going to make a lot of money. Facts, as they say on these internet streets. So one of the things that you should understand about making money online is it's real. You can do it. However, most people approach making money on mine as some kind of part-time hobby, as something as pie-in-the-sky money. I remember a friend of mine who I had been on about you know, starting this business, starting this business. And when he got his first sale, he said these words to me. It's real. And I think that many of you suffer from that because, you know, Making money online has been proven, but if you've never done it before, it's like magic. It's like this secret hoodoo sauce. And once again, you know, uh, I will look at my career and I will chart my career. I've been making money online in some capacity since 2000. eBay, Amazon. Uh, once again, I recommend that if you start with that, you know, keep it at a certain level and learn these lessons because there are people out there, their full-time income comes from eBay and Amazon, which can be a little scary. But I started with eBay, Amazon, and Craigslist. I was getting that Wi-Fi bread 
in all of these sectors because he used to sell books on Amazon, used to sell um, any and everything on Craigslist and any and everything on eBay. Now, the, the ticket today is Facebook Marketplace. Uh, people are making full-time careers from Facebook Marketplace, buying and reselling. And if you're a person who doesn't have a lot of business savvy, that's the way to go in the beginning while you're, because the thing is, you want to be making money, but you want to be getting experience. Because some of y'all are waiting on, I, you're waiting on Jesus. You're waiting on the, the great rapture or something, because the thing is, it's not going to get any easier. You must make a decision to start making money online. You gotta make that decision. You you gotta put that stuff together. You have got to get your mind around the situation of I can make money online. I can make a lot of money online. Because the thing is the math doesn't change. The more people that you serve the more money that you make online. That's the ticket. So, you know, I've given you some food for thought because, first of all, don't come over here asking me, hey, you know, I'm thinking about doing mobile notary. Does that work? There are people making six figures from doing the mobile notary. Uh, hey, you know, Glennon, should I flip some stuff? There are people making seven, eight figures flipping. It works. The question is, are you willing to do the work that's required? That's the question. Are you willing to do the work that's required? You know, my thing is education. I'm going to stay in this lane because I know it. I have years of experience and it doesn't make me make any sense for me to get into affiliate marketing. It doesn't make me make any sense for me to go away from this position where I'm making money over here. If I do X, Y, and Z, I make money to go over here and hope to make money. Uh, one of the things that some of y'all do, and most of y'all are cool, is don't ask me to create some training for some stuff I don't do. I'm not in that business of stuff I don't do. Things I haven't done, I, I'm not going to create any training around it because then I got to go out and learn about whatever it is this training when I have a ton of knowledge about so many things that I don't have to go out and skill up. And fortunately for me, the things that I have a ton of knowledge in are are things that make money. Uh, once again, you know, later on this year, I'm going to launch an inbound marketing YouTube course because, you know, if there's two ways to do YouTube. You could do YouTube the YouTube way or you could do YouTube the Glendon Cameron way. And, you know, you can make some serious money. Once you get a appropriate audience and you start monetizing it, because one of the things that's happening with the influence frame is I put up a video the other day. The influence frame only has, I think, 1,200 sub subscribers. I put up a video the other day. It's got 1,500 views. So what's happening over there is my reach is expanding, and that's why I want to start working more and more on that channel. Because one of the things you have to understand you got to work. Everybody's trying to get this passive income. One of, the, one of the most solid ways to get passive income is real estate. And you got to spend a lot of money, take a lot of risk, and get a big loan if you don't have the money to get your piece of real estate and put your renter in there. And that's the only, that's, that's, that's it. You know, stocks that pay dividend, that could be considered passive income. But you got to get so much earned income to get your passive income going. And this is one of the things like, you know, I, I hear people who, who've never made money online talking about, I want to get me something, get me some passive income. One of the things you got to understand about today's Internet is nothing. There's nothing that you can set it and forget it where you do this little bit of work up front and then it's going to throw off cash for years. Ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. I realized how fortunate that I was for my book to sell for three years. But once again, I had this YouTube channel promoting the book. I had these stories. I had a blog, Urban Pack Rat. So the money was kind of passive, but it wasn't. 
And then I had the, the television shows that were, you know, putting out this thing about storage auctions. And I had the best storage auction, and I still think I have the sec best storage auction book online. But that shit passed. And, if, you know, and like, I, I will tell you, I, my last big check, and then it was like, it was $140,000. The next month, this sucker was chopped in half. And because when it goes down, it doesn't go down like this. It goes down like this. Boom. And that's how I knew the ending was because there were more products. There were more folks selling it. Uh, the, the, you know, the TV had gassed up people. People had bought. There was reporting from the field. There was all kinds of stuff. So it's very difficult to create passive income from something online without massive, massive exposure. And one of the things that you should do is you should sit down and write out a business, long-term business model. You know, we had this conversation. You're getting older and you're getting poor. Facts. The typical person income peaks around 45, then it starts going down. And if you, you start a business in four to seven years and you get to a certain point, you can, you can make six figures, seven figures a year and live your life unlike most of your neighbors and peers. But the thing is, you got to bust. And to my young people, if you got business ideas, start as a teenager. Because, you know, those seven to eight years, you'll still be 20 some when you're at a point where you have a seasoned, mature business that's throwing off cash. You want to do a business versus, quote, investing. The best investors are business people who have money. Gary V. He got to invest in these companies early on because he had money. He had money. You cannot become an investor in something big. And for the most part, most of y'all will never ever get the, hey, Carl, yeah, we're launching this new really crazy company. We want you to invest. You ain't getting that phone call because people who have to know who has the money to invest, they know who has the money. They know who has put themselves out there as an investor. And one of the things that you have to understand about investing, that's a long-term play. And one of the reasons that business owners are the best investors is they have a chunk of money they can throw off in this business, and they have the business that is paying them money every month. So they can live well, drive the Lambo, and invest. But once again, many of you are trying to play rich boy games with a poor boy pocketbook. Once again, like even with Bitcoin, you know, you can't buy enough to really see a big difference in your life. You know, if you had bought like two, three hundred, you know, in 2012, 11, 13. Yeah. OK, you, you could play a little bit. You could play a little bit. But today. It's too expensive for you to get a sizable portion and all of you Bitcoin experts. When I say how much money has Bitcoin made you, I get nothing. And, you know, once again, what do you have besides Bitcoin that's making money every month, every day, every week? What do you have, bro? What, what do you have that's going on? Because one of the things about making money online is having a plan and more importantly, executing you can want all day long, but until you start executing, until you start creating the email list, until you start doing things, until you get busy, there ain't no money coming. There ain't no money coming. You got to get busy. You got to put yourself out there. You got to create, you know, uh, one of the things that uh, I don't disagree with some people who are running some ads on Facebook. They don't believe in content marketing. They believe in creating an ad set and getting people to their offer, which if you're really good at Facebook ads, that's a viable play. But if you just suck at Facebook ads, 
uh, I remember in the group there was someone who had spent thousands of dollars on Facebook ads with a quote Facebook expert and made no money one of the things you have to do one of the things you have to understand is you got to create you know and this is where content marketing will help you because I can look through my older videos and see what titles resonate and if I wanted to I could create a Facebook ad off of the videos that are already doing well because this is a proven concept this is one of the things that you get from content marketing so I would suggest if you don't have no money nobody know who you are you start content marketing you start putting stuff out there you start claiming your piece of the internet because one of the things is that you gotta go slow I mean I've got I've been selling stuff online in some shape and capacity since 2000 it's 2019 that's almost 20 years of experience and once you get started the experience that you get from this one thing builds and it builds and it builds and that's why it's so important for you to get started that's why it's so important for you to understand what you're doing that's why it's so important for you to know how this thing works up so for those of you who are serious about starting an online business I have this commercial that's going to take you through a blueprint of how to take my courses how to go through Hustlers University to get your foundational education so because like I said you, you built you build and you build on this knowledge you build on this knowledge you build on this knowledge and then you execute and executing off that knowledge because we, we had people here who started service businesses who were making fifteen to three thousand dollars per month and that happened within ninety days how would an extra fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars a month serve your life they give you a little attitude money they give you a little little money but anyway we're about to roll this wonderful commercial footage here and I'll see you guys later Day business school is in session learn how to make money increase your wealth one of the biggest problems i have is that people come to the youtube channel they'll see me and they want to get some but they don't know where to start so i have solved that problem today if you're brand new welcome we're glad to have you look forward to serving you a long long time if you want to get this knowledge if you want to start a business I have created a blueprint a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life because this is one of the things that I have learned when I was doing 30 days to 2500 I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already, they did really well with 30 days to 2,500. Remarkably well. It was like mind blowing for some of them. Then there were people who didn't do well. And these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business. So what I've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, running the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you'll do in your life. But once again, 
people want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five check and account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming the Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right, this is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course, uh, the Power of Six Productivity course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done. How to, what's the priority? What's not priority? This course will do it for you. All right. So the fifth course you will get, Scripted Days. This is a life-changing course. I think it's too cheap, but I want you guys to benefit. It will give you the power of written manifestation. It will straighten out your uh, bad habits it will put you on the path of productive success. It will teach you how to, you know, set up a morning ritual, set up an evening ritual, a lot of things. This will be the fifth course. Now, these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation. When I was doing 30 Days to 2500, I had some students do amazingly well, and some students struggled. The people who did well already had a, a business or be a superior mindset. The foundational courses will give you the superior mindset. Let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start. This next section is for you. Typically, business success comes from practicing business skills. One of the best ways to do that is by reselling. You got to get your feet wet. This is where you will start with the reselling courses. Uh, this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book, the pimping Craigslist stuff, all of this stuff to get you geared for resale. How to have a great garage sale, all that. Now, once you've gotten the first five courses, your next move will be 30 days to 2,500. This course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business. It will be thought provoking. This is also a good course for people with established businesses. Remember how I told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well. So go ahead, you know, if you have a business owner, if you go through, because 30 days to 2,500 is a long course. It's going to take you about two months to go through it, but it'll be well worth it because in these two months, you're going to learn stuff. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to create new shifts in 
how you think and how you do business. All right. Uh, the seventh course will be asking for the money, how to be an Uber salesperson. Now, don't get this course unless you have something to sell. Just reading a book, or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time. You need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice. And once again, uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the Luponics book, I don't know the name. Can't remember the name of it. All I know is it had a red and black cover. Can't help you. People keep like, man, it sounds dope. What's the name? I don't know the name, man. I don't know the name. Just had to put that out there. All right. And for the business owners, this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business. You know, if you got like a side business or something, and this might be for you, but this is for the business owners. You should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure. Structure. If you're a business owner making money, you are a target and you will need to protect yourself. Now, for the people who want to save some money, I have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations. So this is the bundle that includes most of the courses. There you go. So if you are new to the channel and you're like, hey, where do I start? That's the pathway. That's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint, you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business. Because like I said, you know, I, I got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2,500. And if I had been thinking, I would have did this like way sooner. But essentially taking those lessons derived from that course you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business. It's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared. It's just a process. It's going to take them a little time to, you know, like you got kids. All kids don't learn at the same rate. You got some kids who learn slower, and but they can still get there. And essentially, this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses. They will help you get your mind right. This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale that first blow the money it becomes addictive it becomes very addictive now what i'm going to do for the you know starting next week there's going to be a lot of new training so i'm going to do a video probably sunday or monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that now if you have never started a business this stuff is good for you especially 30 days to 2,500 and the money management course. I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, 
it's the money's just you're not going to get the best use of the money you you need to learn how to hold on the money and this is what the course teaches you so you know next week we will get into um the, the new stuff but the new stuff will build on this it won't be the same information it'll be new information and more of it for business owners i don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2500 and asking for the sale those only courses for business owners uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff uh, beginning business person. So once again, just go ahead. You know, if you're brand new to the channel, you just found this welcome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all people that thirst you know that 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 thirst is a big big problem that build up thirst of you wanting stuff you want to live a certain lifestyle once again the money management course will help you with that let's see where we are cool because what on this is going to be a very short live stream because i'm going to take it down and i'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos so people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon, man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.